Hello <clears throat> and good afternoon, or good morning, or good evening, whenever you're watching this video. My name is Anthony Phillips. I am a messenger of God. I'm a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And what I preach comes from the Holy Spirit. It comes directly from the Word of God. I preach the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Amen. And today I'm going to talk about a message. Um, that I find very interesting and I feel that it could be helpful to someone and the message I'm going to talk about is about slaying the giants and this is taken from 1st Samuel chapter 17 from the story of David and Goliath now in the story of David and Goliath we, we know that David was just a little boy about maybe 11 or 12 years old and Goliath was a humongous giant. And Goliath was, was defying the armies of God, Israel, defying the armies of Israel. And Goliath was like, send someone my way to fight me. And if you win, we will be your servants. But if we win, you would be our servants. And no one would face Goliath. Everybody was scared of him. But David, who was a shepherd, keeping the sheep, was like, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that keeps defiling my God? He, he was blasting the God. Goliath was. And so David was like, I will fight him. And the reward for killing the giant was um, gold and, and rewards and wearing jewels and being the king and getting the woman that he wants and vice versa and vice versa. And you can find all this information out in First Samuel chapter 17. But I'm going to begin reading in verse... Um, let me see. I'm going to begin reading a verse. First story four. I'm going to read verse story four, starting in verse story four of First Samuel, chapter seventeen. And we're going to be all the way to verse uh, 51. So Samuel, First Samuel chapter 17, verses 34 to 51. And I'm reading King James Version, if you want to follow along. Okay? So here we go. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his spear, and smote him, and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them. Seeing he had defiled, he had defied the armies of the living God. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he would deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. And Saul armed David with his armor. And he fit him helmet of brass upon his head. Also he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he essayed to go. For he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. The, um, the armor was too big for David. It was basically falling off of him. It was too big. And David had not grown 
into the armor to where it won't end up to where the armor. And he took his staff in his hand and chose some five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag which he had, even in a script, and his sling was in his hand. And he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistine came on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about, he saw David. He disdained himself, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staffs? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air, and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee, and take thy head from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air, and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there was a God in Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yay. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands, says David. And it came to pass, when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David bent his hand in his bag and cut thence a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone. Excuse me. And smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. And when the Philistines saw the champion was dead, they fled. There's a lot that we can learn from this story. First and foremost, we can learn that if you have faith, like David had faith, that to do something, it shall be done. David had faith and believed that God would deliver him from the hands of Goliath. David believed that he was going to kill that giant, and so he did. There's a few things I want to point out in this story. You see, David was just a youth. He was just a young boy. The Bible doesn't really say how old he was, maybe about 11. 12, maybe 10 years old, I don't know, but he was young, and he wasn't strong. So, when he had slung the stone out of his sling, he, he wasn't strong enough to give it enough force to kill that giant. So, as you read the story, it makes you wonder, how was he capable of killing the giant with a stone on the first try. I believe that the hand of the Lord took over as soon as that stone was slung from the sling in David's hand. 
As soon as David released that stone, the hand of the Lord took over and gave it force and supernatural strength, or David had supernatural strength from the Lord to sling it, where the stone sunk into the Goliath's forehead, killing him. That had to be some really powerful force there. Another thing we can look at is when David chopped off Goliath's head with Goliath's sword. Now, if you read at the beginning of chapter 17, it gives you the introduction of Goliath and his armor and his shield and vice versa. And it says that his, his armor was very heavy. Very heavy. So I can imagine the sword being a big, humongous sword weighing at a couple hundred pounds. It wasn't just a light sword. It was a heavy sword. So in order for David to raise the sword above his head, giving it enough force to chop off Goliath's head, that had to have been done by super strength, supernatural strength. That only had to be done by the hand of the Lord. David had faith in believing that he would slay the giant, and he did. So you might be facing a giant in your own life, whether it be the giant of fear, depression, doubt, worry, addiction, uh, maybe it's marriage and relationship issues, maybe it's financial issues, maybe it's health issues, whatever it may be, you may be facing a giant and you may think that it is impossible to defeat the giant because the giant keeps popping his head up and it won't leave you alone. But if you have faith in believing that with God all things are possible, and that as God helped David to defeat Goliath, then God will help you to defeat your Goliath, your giant. All you have to do is have faith and believe. Somebody say, Amen. So, you can slay the giant. You got to have faith and believe that you can. Just as David had faith in believing that he could. Because God is, as God was with David, God is with you. God was with Moses. God is with you. God was with Abraham. God was with you. As God was with the uh, old Israelites, God is with you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He will help you. He will give you the strength that you need to do the impossible. All you have to do is believe. By faith, believe. For as the word says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing comes by the word of God. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. You got to have faith. So you can not slay the giant that you may be facing in your life. It may not be Goliath, but it may be your own personal Goliath. But you can slay it. So I just want to get on here and share this encouraging word and let you know that with God, all things are possible. And all things are possible to him who those who believe in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Anthony Phillips. I pray that this word encourages you and gives you inspiration for the day. And be blessed in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I love you, and God loves you. God bless. Goodbye.